I had a lot of stuff swirling around inside me, and I wanted to be able to paint about that. I want to paint something that no one's ever seen before. I'm constantly fighting to keep it from my imagination and keep it a little bit raw and a little bit energized. My usual method for making a painting is to make a mess on a canvas. I might spill some paint, I might rub it around with my hands, I might take a charcoal pencil and draw a little bit, and then when it's a pretty good mess, I stand back and look at it. Maybe I'll see an eye somewhere or a face somewhere in something. Maybe I'll see a shape of a body that suggests a movement or something. I just take that and go from there. Things come into a painting, like I'll see a jackrabbit go up the hill and boom, there's a jackrabbit in my painting, like not even two minutes later. I just see it and then I put it in and then sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it isn't a good thing. I try not to edit out as I'm painting too much because it's easy to have an idea and say, oh, that's stupid. That's the creative process to not allow that voice in your head to say, that's stupid but to let your brain wander with something and go with it and see where it takes you. I don't know where it's gonna take me, but that's my painting process. When I first found out about the Encircle home, I was completely blown away. The place is so warm. When I entered the home, it has a feeling of a place I would like to be. The photography, the artwork was inspiring. I just feel like you really cared about. Art is a really passionate thing. You have to somehow dig deep inside yourself to go there and find it and experience it to be able to share it. And I think that's true if you're playing the guitar or writing a poem. If you're honest to yourself, that will always be enough.